The figure below, three identical circles of radius 8 with centers O, P, and Q are tangent to each other. What is the area of the shaded region? So we've got a shaded region right here. Bound by the circles. So take a minute and see if you can solve this by yourself. All right, so here's how I'm going to solve it. So we know that we have a point of tangency here, a point of tangency here, and a point of tangency here. All right. Knowing this, we can draw a line from each radius to the point of tangency. And we know that the radius is equal to 8 because of the problem. All right, so this is 8. This is the, from here to here is 8. From here to here is 8. All right. From here to here is 8. This is 8. This is 8. And this is 8. And you'll notice we've created an equilateral triangle. And this triangle encompasses the entire shaded region. All right, but it adds some black space here. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to find the area of this triangle. Now we can use the Pythagorean theorem because we know that this side length here is a total of 16 and this one's 8. So we have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Okay, let's call this side a. That means we have 64, which is 8 squared, plus b squared is equal to, uh, so this is 16 squared, which is 256. 256, all right? That means that we have b squared is equal to, if I subtract 64 from both sides, 192. All right, so if we wanted to find b, b is equal to the square root of 192. <clears throat> now that we know that, right, we can just find the area of the triangle because we know that this side is the square root of 192. Now the formula for, a, for the area of a triangle will be given to you on the SAT is 1 half times base times height. All right, so we know our height here is one is square root of 192. Our base is technically 16, right? But we can just apply this dividing by two rule. So we can say our base is, or this this total, the total of this term is just going to be eight. So eight times the square root of 192. All right, so now we found the area of the triangle. Now that means we found the area of the shaded the shaded region, but we need to subtract all these black areas, right? So all these black areas here. Now we know that this is going to be 60 degrees, right? And why do we know this? Because we have 180 degrees in a triangle, right? And if this is an equilateral triangle, which we've seen here, all the sides of the same length, right? They're all 16. That means that they all have the same angle. So that means that we would have to divide this by three because there's three angles, which is going to be 60 degrees. All equilateral triangles have a, uh, an angle measure. Each angle in an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. Okay, let's move on. So since we have 60 degrees, right, and we have 360 degrees in an entire circle, that means that 60 over 360, right, that means we have one sixth of our of our full circle represented here, right. So this portion here, this chunk of the circle, this is one sixth, and we know that the area of a circle, we know that the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. In this case, it'd be pi times eight squared is equal to 64 pi. So to find the area of this region, right, we can just multiply the 64 pi by 1 sixth. But the thing is, we have three of them. And we know that they're all the same because they're all the same portion, right? They're all the same angle. And these are all, um, these are all congruent circles, right? Because they all have the same radius, right? So that means we have three of these portions. So let's actually just multiply this by three, right? So we multiply by three and we divide by six because this is 1 sixth, but there's three of them. All right, if that makes sense. So if, if, we, if we took all these, and then we'd have another one here and another one here, and that would just be half of a, half of a, um, half of a circle, right? So this would just be equal to 64 pi over 2, right? Because 3 6 is equal to 1 over 2. And then this is equal to 32 pi. We just divide out the 2 here, put it up there, right? So that means that we know that the area of these, of all this black space, is 32 pi. So if we subtract that from our original length, right, from our original or from our original triangle, right, we should have our answer. And we know that that original triangle was 8 times the square root of 192. So that means that our answer should be 8 square root 192 minus 32 pi. But we're not finished yet because that's not one of our answer choices. All right. A problem like this is not going to be one of those open response questions because there's a way to simplify. And you may have to simplify a radical many times on your SAT test. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to try to pull square numbers out of this 192. So it is divisible by 16. So that means we can do 16, then the other factor would be 12, right? 192 is equal to 16 times 12, all right? We can split 12 and do square root 4 times square root 3. 
and therefore we would get 8 times the square root of 16 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 3, which is equal to 8 times 4 times 2 times the square root of 3. You know, we multiply these together, and what do we get? We get 8 times 8, which is 64 times the square root of 3. Therefore, we can move this up here. We're going to get 64 square root 3 minus 32 pi. That is option C.